You can dispense with the smallpox, all-knowing one. Very well. What answer do you seek? Have you ever had the sense that you were floating outside of your body? Right now, my friend, right now. <laughs> Out-of-body experiences or astral trips are described by those who claim to have experienced them as floating apart from your body, watching yourself from the outside. Sometimes the astral explorer engages in conversations, and sometimes he just observes his surroundings, usually in startling detail. Astral trips have been reported in several scenarios. Near-death experiences, sensory deprivation, trauma to the brain, or transcranial magnetic stimulation of the brain. Let's take a look-see at near-death experiences, or after-death experiences, as Dr. Sam Parnia calls them. Parnia practices and studies resuscitation medicine. His idea of death is that it's not a moment in time, but a process since it takes time for cells to die after they're deprived of oxygen. He, along with other researchers, are looking into the question of whether consciousness can survive death. If that could be the reason why some people who, say, undergo cardiac arrest and flatline, report hovering over their bodies or feeling an overwhelming sensation of peace. So far, there is no definitive answer, but there are some clues that encroaching brain death brings on chemical changes that could trigger these events. In one 2010 study published in the journal Critical Care, it was found that 11 of the 52 cardiac arrest patients had near-death experiences. In those patients, blood carbon dioxide levels were significantly higher than in those who did not experience an astral projection, perhaps giving us one more piece of the chemical puzzle in this phenomenon. Now, for some people, the thought of leaving your body seems terrifying, but for others, well, it's on top of their things-to-do list, and they have several ways to accomplish this goal. You could strap on something called the God Helmet, a kind of football helmet outfitted with magnets. The method is called transcranial magnetic stimulation, and it manipulates areas of the brain such as the temporal lobes, inducing hallucinations of ghostly apparitions or taking a walk outside of your body. Another way to astral trip is to take a dip in a sensory deprivation tank. When you enter a dark chamber and float atop warm, salty water, you lose the sense of your body's borders. The meta sense of being rooted in your body is called proprioception, and it can be seriously dulled in deprivation tanks, not allowing you to fully pin yourself in time and space. Add earplugs to this scenario and you have a true forced shutdown of your brain. And what does the mind do without its usual dose of stimulation? It hallucinates, and a person feels like he's leaving his body or traveling into a fractal dimension. There's an idea that some people could be more prone to out-of-body experiences than others, a kind of synesthesia. We mostly think of synesthesia as being related to people seeing colors when they look at letters or words, but in this case, astral tripping could be a kind of synesthesia of proprioception, misattributing the body in space and time. So is astral tripping real? It is in the sense that a person feels that she's actually experiencing it, and her brain is coding it that way. But that doesn't mean her consciousness can live apart from her body, or that her soul can sail away on a cloud of astral projection dust. So what about you? Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? If so, what seemed to cause it? Where did you go? Tell us all about it. Yeah, let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe.